Chris here, and in this video, I'm taking a look at these, the One More Color Buds 2, an upgraded newer version of the Color Buds that does now have a Bluetooth 5.2 support, AppDex Adaptive Support, which is one of their newer codecs, which does support a variable bit rate, lower latency, and we've got with these two wireless charging from the case. So this case offers two additional charges, the earbuds, well, you can get up to six hours runtime with the ANC on, or eight hours with ANC off. They support Sound ID. We have firmware updates with the One More application. And overall now, in my week of using these, I think they are fantastic earbuds. If your priorities are price and sound quality, ones that are definitely worth a look. And then included inside the box, you will find this. We've got some other silicon tips here, different sizes. So two small ones and two large ones. They come with the mediums already on them, which happen to give me a perfect seal. But everyone's ears are different, of course. We have one more sticker, user guide here. This is for our warranty and a Type-C to USB cable. The color buds are lightweight. They only weigh five grams each. And then with the case, you are looking at a total travel weight then of just 45 grams. Now I love the size of this case. It's very compact, small, high quality plastics they have used. You can just see at the top there, one more. Down the bottom, this has rubber there with all of our markings that of course they need, like the CE right there. Type-C port for charging. Now the case takes about an hour, two hours to charge, and the earbuds are an hour. We have a status LED right here. Now there is like a little catch there that when you open it up, it's not going to flop back down. So when you open it, you can see the status of a battery. Green light right here means that, well, I'm basically fully charged. That will change of course, depending on that battery when it is depleted. Pairing button right there in the middle. This is very handy. So you can easily clear it, the pairing, and then pair it up to a new device if you needed to. Now they fit inside this case here with magnets. It holds them in place. You can see the charging port pin connectors there. There's three of them in total. They sit in there nicely, and when it is closed, it's not going to rattle. So it's not going to rattle around in your pocket or your bag, which I've had with some other earbuds, which is quite annoying. So overall, really good quality. Let's have a look at the earbuds now. They are clearly marked left or right on them. You can see there at the top, they're a little bit larger. So we've got seven millimeter dynamic drivers and then graphene diaphragm with this. So the sound quality I'll get onto later on in this. You can see we do have a little filter inside there too. And the tips, of course, you need to find the one that gives you the best seal. And a microphone right there, there's the pug port pin connectors. This is the sensor for the auto on and off mode. So as soon as you take them out, they will pause, put them back in, and they will start playing again. It's a very, very handy feature to have. Now, this plastic around the outside, there are no sharp edges. It is very good. See the microphone down the bottom there? That is the main one for the voice calls. There is another one here on the outside, just sampling, of course, the ambient sound to then combat that with the noise cancellation that we have with these ANC, but also the noise cancellation with the microphones. I will give you a sample later in this review of just how the mics do sound. The Color Buds 2 are IPX5 rated. The battery life on these with ANC on is up to six hours, with it off eight hours. And then the case right here, you do get an additional two charges. Now it does support Qi standard wireless charging. I've got it on a charging little pad right here. See the status LED is on. This is very handy. And the charging time is the same as charging it with a cable. So it will take about two hours. And that is giving us then the additional two charges from that case. Now this feature is going to depend on your phone and the support you're going to get out of it, but you do need a Qualcomm powered phone. So this is an Android phone here that I've got, of course, you're not gonna find Qualcomm in the Apples. This is the K30 Pro Zoom, and it does support and use with the Snapdragon 865, the AppDex adaptive codec. So this will dynamically adjust the bit rate. It does have a low latency mode, which is very good for gaming. And so far testing them out, I've had no issues with the latency. I do have that option enabled down the bottom, low latency, and that is why for me, there seems to be absolutely no lag with these. Now onto the most important thing is just how do they sound? So I've got a good seal, I have the medium tips on, that is very important. So you're gonna get that bass, and it blocks out with the ambient noise. Now the difference between having the ANC on and off, there's not too much of a change. With some of the TWS tech I've reviewed with ANC, it has been quite brutal. The differences between them. Here it's not so bad. So with ANC on, which is on by default, 
I really do like this tune. I think they have done a fantastic job. It's excellent. So the bass is not overpowering. It's not affecting those mids. So many times I've reviewed cheaper ones that is of TDO's tech, and I find the bass is just over the top, way over the top, overpowering. Not here, good balance. Vocals sound great. Mids are good. And the trebles, the highs are excellent there too as well. Top volume is not the loudest I've heard. You can push them reasonably loud to like almost air damaging level, but not beyond that. And I think most people should be happy. Now this will vary from phone to phone. Remember you've got sound ID there too. If of course you're using something like a music player that does not have an equalizer, this does, this is power amp, but what I have it set to is flat. So that's just using the default tune of these earbuds and it is very good, especially for the price. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm using the Aptex Adaptive Codec here, and the latency is spot on here, the sync. When looking at streaming video, it's synced up perfectly, gaming too, and I do have that low latency mode enabled with my Android phone here. And our microphone quality, so this is one gray area. This is something I'm not happy about. I think the microphones in the Color Buds 2, they don't sound great, at least in the unit I've got here. My voice seems to be compressed a lot due to that active noise cancellation. So if you place a lot of voice calls, I really don't think these are going to be the earbuds for that, for those people that place many calls. And our application that you can use with this. It's not necessary, but it is recommended. So it's called One More Music. I got this from Google Play Store. This is an Android phone, of course. So when you first do boot it up, you'll have this right here, which is a quick start guide. Tells you how to fit them, how to cycle through the ANC mode. So you've got ANC on by default, off, and then the pass through mode, play and pause, voice control, and to answer and hang up. And then you'll see we've got our battery life there at the top. ANC modes, you can manually select them here in the app, smart playback. So it's the auto pause and play feature that it's got, custom settings. Sound ID, so if you wanted to use this, create your own custom sound, personalize it, that's where you do it. The firmware upgrades for the earbuds, so I am on the latest version. That guide I just showed you and some soothing, relaxing sounds there at the bottom. Now let's talk a little bit about the comfort of wearing these. So I've had them in for hours on end and I haven't had really any problems with them, apart from the typical kind of thing that after a few hours you notice that a little bit of pressure build up there that I might have to give them a wiggle or remove them just for a split second to give my ears a break, which is normal. Now I did fall asleep wearing these accidentally and of course the pressure of my pillow on them, eh, yeah. I woke up with a very sore ear, but that's going to happen with any earbuds. That's kind of normal. So the Bluetooth range on this seems to be fine. I can go downstairs. I don't get it disconnecting until I'm miles away. Well, not literally miles away, but a good, I don't know what it is, about 15 or 10 meters or so away from my phone before one of these will start to break up and you do hear that. Now, the active noise cancellation. What can I tell you about that? Well, it's not super powerful, right? It does remove things like fan noise, minor kind of higher frequency noises it does a good job of getting rid of. Uh, lower air conditioning compressor rumble, for example, it does a good job to block that out. But people talking, you can still hear, for example, a work companion that's only, say, a few cubicles away from you shouting away on their phone. If you happen to have these in on your lunch break or something, you're still going to sadly be able to hear them. But it does do a good job of blocking that and just, well, lowering down the levels of those ambient noises. Now, the other thing to point out too, the pass-through feature, very handy to have. So if you tap and hold, you can then cycle that on. ANC's on by default always. You can cycle that on and then you can hear the train platform announcements or whatever you need to hear. So that's good. And it acts like almost amplified hearing, like a hearing aid and you can hear a lot more sounds. Like if you go and just like scratch your leg or something, you can hear it really does sound quite loud there. So overall, the sound quality is, as I mentioned, I'm impressed. I think it's a very well-balanced, well-rounded tune that they've gone with one more. It's excellent. My only true complaint with these is the microphones. I really wish they were better, and I do hope that one more, they push out firmware updates. Well, they've got that possibility with the application, I think that they can tweak these mics, I hope, for improved clarity there, because it seems to compress my voice too much at times, and it cuts in and out that active noise cancellation with the microphones. Battery runtime, well, they claim six hours. I'm getting just over around five and a half hours. I got five hours and 35 minutes out of these. 
and I think that's fine. It depends on the genre of music, your volume levels, of course. So that's going to vary a little bit there. If you turn the ANC off, you do gain about two hours more, which is great. And then that tiny little case, it gives us an extra two charges. I wish it was three or four charges. That would have been great, even if it was just a little bit bigger, but a very comfortable, small, portable size. So there we go. Those are the one more Color Buds 2. Thank you so much for watching this review.